Hello everyone, it is March 14th, 2022. This is Vegging Out Gardening with me, Kate, where we talk about zone B gardening from week to week. Um, this past week, I figured out how I was going to affix the plastic bed frames to the beds. Um, I just used two eyelets with a little bungee cord. This allows some flexibility but it is still pretty sturdy. Originally I had tried just putting a sheet of plastic over the top and weighing it down with some bricks, but the wind coming off of the farm field here is so powerful that it just rips the plastic off. I then tried a PVC hoop with plastic, but again the wind just rips the whole thing off. So. This very flat profile, I think, is going to work really well. I also decided to replant some basil and lettuce because those surprisingly didn't come up very well. And then I am trying lemongrass seeds. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. I love lemongrass, um, so fingers crossed. Um, let's see how things are doing. These are just about ready to be transplanted out. That'll be something for next week. These will be going in the covered bed that you just saw. Uh, mystery tomato doing wonderfully. Uh, these tomatoes, they um, I'm going to start giving them full-on tomato fertilizer, um, just a stronger fertilizer. And this tomato at the end that looks really wonky, it is a, a, um, an heirloom variety called Speckled Roman, so... I'm not totally surprised that it is kind of puny um, and very particular. Um, so we'll see how it, it does with the uh, more high-powered fertilizer. Um, this stuff's looking great. The, that random row of peppers actually did come up. Um, and then here is the lettuce um, and the basil that didn't really come up. Oh, and you can see um, the ground cherries actually came up this week so very tiny little guys um, the seeds were also very very small um, so very happy that that came up um, got a couple kale I don't really like kale so I, I'm not gonna bother with planting more down here we have the broad beans or fava beans those are looking pretty good uh, bunching onions just about coming up and then here are all of the determinant tomatoes so pretty good germination um, and I don't think I'm gonna really bother with replanting any just because uh, clearly it's all a lot um, and I probably don't need this this many tomatoes anyway so over the week uh, as it's warm I'm gonna be working on prepping our second garden bed making the cold frames for those um, and I'll be working on prepping the site area for our new hoop house that I'm really excited about. So it's going to be a lot of work, um, but I'm really hoping to use the hoop house in the late spring or so. Um, hopefully earlier if, um, if I really stick to it. Um, for seeding next week, we're looking at potentially starting some dry beans. Um, I got a variety called Calypso that looks really, really cool. Um, kind of got a yin-yang uh, coloring. Um, and then also looks like beets and mustard, gre mustard greens and some flowers are up, up to bat. So um, I'm just going to keep trucking and we're going to keep trying new varieties apparently. So... But if you have any questions about what's going on, uh, or if you should or shouldn't be seeding something or planting something, let me know. Feel free to share what you're doing with your garden this week, um, and you guys have a good week. Thank you. Bye.